Today we're making Flying AI that patrols an area and attacks a target. We first need a new script called Flying AI with these references, these movement settings, these attack settings, these projectile settings, and these fields. Then we need some rotational methods, so we'll use this to orientate our AI towards the player, and this to confirm when that has happened successfully. Then we can tie the two of those together with this coroutine. This AI will navigate using predefined waypoints that'll cover any area we like. So let's use this method to pick a random point and this method to confirm we've reached the desired point. To actually move our flying AI, we'll use this method, which allows it to navigate to any point we choose. And should we desire navigation towards the player, we'll use this method to figure out how that's going. Upon reaching the player, we want to fire a projectile. So let's do that with this thoughtfully named fire projectile function. Now all that remains is the state machine. Our first state is the circle state, allowing our AI to patrol an area using random waypoints for as long as we specify. And our second state is the attack state, where our AI will face the player and fire projectiles. As shown, we can put both of these in a state machine, simply looping between the two. To finish, add this start method, save the script, and close it. In the scene, start by making a plane and setting it to 10 on the X and Z scale. Then make a 3D capsule called player and set it to 1 on the Y axis. To create our AI, make an empty game object called Flying AI, set its position to 10 on the Y axis and drag our Flying AI script onto it. Make a child 3D capsule called Body and set its X rotation to 90. Make a child 3D cube called Wings. Set the Z position to 0.25, the X scale to 2.5, the Y scale to 0.2, and the Z scale to 0.5. Create another empty child called Firepoint, set its Y position to 0.8 and its Z position to 1.25. Now at this point, you could just make a bunch of waypoints and drag them in for navigation, but this can be done far more neatly using an editor tool. So make a new script called Waypoint Generator Window and make sure it inherits from Editor Window. Give it all of these variables, this menu item attribute and this function function. Make this on GUI method, which will make our script appear in the editor like so. Use this on enable and on disable function to allow scene drawing and avoid memory leaks. Use this method to get a random position within our box, and this method to generate as many points as we desire within that box. We stored the generated points in the previous function so that we can use this function to clear them if we like. Lastly, use this method to keep our scene view up to date, save the script, and close it. We need something to hold our waypoints, so create an empty game object and call it waypoint holder. Create this waypoint holder script and drag it onto our waypoint holder object. Open our editor tool we just created, drag in our waypoint holder game object and set the number of waypoints to 250. Set the box center to 25 on the Y and set the box size to 100 on the X, 50 on the Y and 100 on the Z. Click generate random waypoints and check them out in the scene. Our AI needs a projectile to shoot, so create a sphere and call it projectile. Set its scale to 0.3 on all axes. Add a Rigid body. Make this script called projectile to control its life cycle and make sure this projectile script is on your projectile. Drag the projectile into the assets folder to make it a prefab and delete the one in the scene. Click on the flying AI and drag in our player, waypoint holder, projectile prefab and firepoint. Create a material called mat underscore flying AI. Duplicate it three times naming the new materials mat underscore player, mat underscore ground and mat underscore projectile. Make the albedo of the flying AI red, the player blue, the ground green and the projectile yellow. Drag these materials onto the AI, player, ground and projectile respectively. Duplicate the AI three times to have more enemies flying around the scene. Set the main camera's position to 30 on the Y and negative 90 on the Z. Click play to watch your flying AIs come to life, subscribe, and comment what tutorials you'd like to see next.